Alright, these are the components that come with the Fiero Store 84 to 87 rear sway bar kit that we'll be installing. Alright, this is the driver's side rear control arm that we'll be using. Um, as you can see, there are two holes already existing in the rear control arms. We are going to use the forwardmost hole. Alright, this is the uh, driver's side still, just at a different angle. So the rear of the car is this way, the front of the car is this way. This is the hole we're going to use. We're going to take the urethane bushings part. We're going to start from the back side, slide through, slide those up and in, take our nut, and then we're going to uh, take a wrench and we're going to tighten it down to the point that everything's snug, not crushing the bushings, but uh, snug them up and then um, we're going to add the next piece. Alright, now we're going to take our end link and same deal. We've got a wrench and tighten that down as well. As you can see, I got the sway bar kind of preset in. Um, you got to note that it needs to be on the inside of the uh, joint um, and the job is done a bit easier if you have ramps as opposed to jacks because you want the control arm to be in its natural position which gives you the proper distance in order to set the sway bar in. Now, same thing on the other side, you can see it's on the inside up on ramps. Now we're going to drill the holes we need for the uh, sway bar braces. Alright, so now that we've got the sway bar set in, we're going to push it towards the front of the car to where it meets the K-frame or the engine cradle. And then we're going to kind of preliminary find out where we need to actually drill the holes for the brackets. And if you really want to be precise, you can put the um, bushing in, set it up in there, and then take a center punch and scribe in on the K-frame where you actually want the marks to be. And then you'll use a 7 16 drill bit to punch through. Here are the pieces. I would probably recommend maybe centering uh, your marks to the center. That way you have a little bit of control one way or the other in case you're off a little bit. Um, as I mentioned, you're going to use a 7 16 drill bit. I would strongly recommend picking up a cobalt drill bit as they are harder and go through the steel a little easier than some of the other bits. Alright, once you get the holes drilled and your engine cradle, you're ready to mount the sway bar. Before we actually mount it, we're going to have to add some uh, urethane grease to the bushings. I recommend using the entire tube and just coat it nice and heavily in there and uh, just get it sopping. I wouldn't have any left over in the tube between these two. I want it nice and greased. This is what the sway bar is going to roll itself around on as it's moving around. Alright, now we're ready to uh, put these in. Alright, now that we've drilled the hole, 7 16 bit, you can actually see the opening. I've removed the wheel to uh, give me a little bit better access. And as you can see, it's almost as if it was meant to be. The holes line up right where this opening is so we can mount it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, mount this side up. Alright, so as you can see with the holes, we're just going to swing the sway bar up, line it up, and then we're going to stick the bolt in through 
the top as opposed to coming in from the bottom. This is always easier with someone else, but as usual, I'm always having to do things on my own. So. So we got that one set in. Just tighten that down. And here you can see the driver's side of the rear sway bar installed. All the bolts are cinched down. The bushings have been installed and greased. This thing's ready to have the wheel be put back on. And same thing, this is the uh, passenger side rear of the uh, rear sway bar installation. Everything looks good, clean. Bolts went in and uh, Everything looks good. And the underside here, you can see everything is good to go. You can even see the little dip down where the exhaust is. So this is definitely Fiero specific. But it's a good clean installation. This car is ready to race. <laughs>